G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So, Happy New Year. I hope you all had a great New Year's Eve and a great New Year's Day. I did celebrate with some family and friends and um, I woke up a little bit worse for wear on New Year's Day. Um, and I'm sure some of you guys out there did as well. But um, it's now 2020 and let's try make this a great video, the first video of the new decade. Um, so in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys a bit about uh, this wall here, this blank wall that you see on my right shoulder. Uh, I wasn't going to make the racks and build by the tanks for that wall for a little while longer. However, an opportunity recently came up where I had the chance to get some tanks for free. Uh, a guy was closing down a shop or one of his shops in Sydney and he was giving away the tanks that he had in that shop because he just needed to get rid of them quickly. And I managed to get 12 two foot by two foot and uh, by about 45 centimeters high, so not quite two foot high, um, tanks off, off this guy. And yeah, really, really generous offer. I did give, give him um, a small, basically, donation for his uh, generosity. And um, yeah, I just, that opportunity is very hard to pass up when you have a fish room and you're addicted to fish and aquariums like I am. And I'm sure some, many of you guys out there are as well. So I was lucky enough to get 12 of those tanks um, and I'll just show you some of them now. And here are the tanks guys, all 12 of them. That's what the tanks look like from the top. Uh, we've got wide sides and smallish lids. Uh, we've also got corners cut out for like airline and whatnot. I think they're for the under gravel filters. Whether that's a massive hazard for fish jumping out of those corners that, that, that won't get covered. So I'm gonna have to get those covered myself. Uh, so these tanks need a bit more cleaning. Um, they've still got some gravel from the shop that I got them from, but they're not bad for free. So they've got contact paper all the way around. It's gonna save me from having to paint them. However, if I do plan on putting breeding discus and putting discus in these tanks, I'm gonna to have to take that contact paper off and paint the backgrounds and sides blue or some light color. That's basically so the fry can see their parents and so the parents are the only dark thing in the tank and they don't get confused. Um, but yeah, some of them have this like rubber um, base on them still. I've got, I've got 12 of those so I won't need styrofoam for the bases of these tanks once they're placed on the stands. I was going to get some four footers as well but decided against that eventually because I just don't think I'll have the room in the fish room for three more four footers and all these tanks. It is a pretty narrow room and and also the, the just just the logistics of getting those tanks and um, getting them in the ute and bring them home. It's just I just didn't want to have to do, deal with big, bulky, heavy tanks, uh, and these little two footers are much easier to to manage. So I picked up twelve of them, and I'm um, pretty stoked about that. So there you go, guys. The twelve tanks that I'll be setting up on this wall. So the next few weeks I'm going to be showing you how I design the stands, build those stands, set those tanks up and stock those tanks full of fish. So if you think that might be of interest to you, be sure to subscribe to my channel because there's more informative videos coming your way. I'll wrap this one up now guys. Please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. Um, it really help me out and I really appreciate that. Alright guys, thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch us in the next one. Bye.